hydrogen filling station that supports ships, cars and trucks. A hydrogen filling station that provides the unique combination of refueling and bunkering. It's a world first, a project that Dutch engineers from Econetics carried out for the Belgium shipping company CMV. You can find this very special H2 filling station in the port of Antwerp, Belgium. And it's a unique installation, says Roy Kampe, CMB Tech's chief technology officer. We have a marine bunkering spot where we can refuel ships. And we have uh, two tube trailer docks, uh, which can be used to refill tube trailers uh, up to 500 bar. Uh, so we have uh, the unique combination of hydrogen production uh, which uses green electricity to produce the molecules and these molecules can be distributed towards cars and buses on the public part and the other part of the refueling stations are the marine transport and the uh, industrial uh, tube trailer fillings. The hydrogen is produced on site with an electrolyzer and green electricity from the grid will power the process. Uh, we're now connected to, uh, to the national grid uh, but we have a smart grid uh, function uh, because maybe interesting to say is that we have uh, electric ultra fast charges so that um, if the grid has too much renewable energy or when the electricity price is very low, uh, we can start producing. Um, we have investigated the use of uh, wind energy or even solar energy on site, uh, but that appeared to be quite difficult. Uh, that's why we said let's uh, organize uh, a green supply contract of green electricity. The launch of the world's first hydrogen-powered passenger ship, the Hydroville, built by CMB a few years ago, actually was the trigger to develop this filling station. Uh, for shipping, that's all quite new. And so, so far, the only ships that can refuel have also been designed by ourselves. So we have uh, a Hydroville. Uh, it's a small passenger ferry already running with uh, dual fuel uh, hydrogen diesel engines. Uh, we're also now building a crew transfer vessel. We are building a tugboat. We also are building a passenger ferry. Uh, we have some other vessels as well uh, in the pipeline. Uh, and there we have full control of how the storage has been designed on board of the ship, how we do the bunkering, what are the protocols, the procedures that has to be followed. Uh, and that's in fact the yeah the reason why CMB started with with the building of this refueling station just to gather the knowledge in order to scale up. This very first multi-model hydrogen refueling station will not only provide hydrogen for all kinds of vehicles, it will also provide logistic lessons for the future. We know that what we have here today is just good for the first projects, but as soon as this becomes the widely used technology, we need to scale up rapidly. So we learn the information on how it works with the smart grid. Uh, we know how the market will develop uh, with the public transport for buses, trucks uh, and even with the electric charging because I believe it's not one technology is the best. I think where you can use batteries, you have to use batteries, but for some industries it's, it's just difficult. Uh, and where we see shipping, they need a lot of autonomy, they need a lot of power. There we see dual fuel system can, let's say, um, provide the snowball effect. As soon as this industry comes to at, at, at pace, uh, starting to use hydrogen, uh, we can talk about uh, large numbers and then we're not discussing a 20 megawatt system or 100 megawatt, we need to scale up drastically, but then you need proven technology. So Antwerp is ready for future growth with an emerging hydrogen economy. And that's yeah a reason why we started to build that refueling station at the edge of the city of Antwerp, but also at the edge of the port of Antwerp. Uh, I think it's a very nice spot to, to grow, uh, to mature. Uh, and yeah, we are there to, uh, to bring hydrogen to the industry. Thanks for watching newenergyforeurope.com.